on um, ChristianCareerCenter.com, I found a job listing for a Thrive Best Choice educator, they call it, and the job listing um, said the, the very first job requirement was um, must have uh, a close dynamic personal relationship with Christ. Um, and then another one was must have an active relationship or an active, an active member of a church. Um, so the, that's the job requirement to go teach, you know, sex education to students. Um, and apparently these public school districts were fine with that. Um, so, um, and it also, before I move on to talk about the curriculum, should be noted that um, in St. Charles, the Thrive Best Choice School program um, is paid for with St. Charles taxpayer dollars. Um, and when we pointed out that they are discriminating in their employment based on religion, uh, we pointed that out to the CCRB in St. Charles that funds Thrive. And Thrive said, oh, whoops, that, that job listing was a mistake. Hmm. So then they took it down. And now their new job listing does not say anything about being Christian. And they still get taxpayer money. The CCRB believed that it was a mistake and everything's fine. Let's just move right along, basically. Um, so, and in addition to the Best Choice Program getting the taxpayer dollars in St. Charles, it also is very important to know that their fake clinics received millions of dollars of Missouri State taxpayer money. Um, and a lot of that money is actually federal TANF dollars, temporary assistance for needy families. It's meant for hungry children, and it gets diverted to crisis pregnancy centers. So not just Thrive, Birthright is another crisis pregnancy center. Um, there are the other ones as well in the state, but Thrive is the biggest in the state of Missouri. And so that is very important to know. Another big infringement on the separation of church and state they are an openly Christian organization. Um, they're pretending as though this best choice school program, abstinence program, um, is secular. They are actually pretending. And I just told you about that job listing. But that's what they're saying. Um, and I've been to a lot of school board meetings. Thrive knows me very well at this point. <laughs> and um, it, I hear them talk at these school board meetings. And they, they've got their talking points down. They know how to play this game to be in public schools. They pretend like it has absolutely nothing to do with, with religion. I mean, and they don't say the words God or Jesus or sin in public schools. They know how to play this game. They don't say that. But the entire belief that they have about morality, that um, you must wait until marriage to have sex, and that condoms are not okay, and birth control is not okay. Um, this is all based in their religious morality perspective. I'm pretty sure all of us in this room don't share that viewpoint about sex. 